first, return to the good to second. You come on in and gather around. We're going to kick things off here with opening prayer and uh, our national anthem and, and introduce a lot of fine people and show you some mighty fine horses here. It's been a great, great weekend thus far. We had a record crowd here yesterday. Nearly 600 people went through the risky food line yesterday for lunch. It's a big, big crowd for our demonstration day. Uh, record, biggest crowd we've ever had. And then uh, also another big crowd last night with a great deal sponsored by the Katrina. And uh, we'll be with you here all day today, not only selling horses, but a uh, great deal of these served once again by Riskies, our great friends in Fort Worth, and uh, of course I'm going to benefit the AQHA Foundation. We'll make some opening remarks and introduce some people who can tell you more about that foundation, but before we do, I want to introduce you to the general manager of the Four Sixes Ranch, our great friend Mr. Joe Leathers, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to open things up with a welcome and uh, opening invitation, and then we'll roll on into our national anthem. Job security feels good. So I uh, look around here today. Stella Carter, the longtime secretary over at the Pittsburgh, is retired. She's nearly every year we've had this. She's always been on our far right. For about 20 years, I think, from Don Green's in the middle. And I look around here and I've become a senior staff member all of a sudden. And I don't know what to think about that, but well, I didn't ask for many comments. But anyway, we have already had absolutely fun weekend. Again, I told you a moment ago about the uh, the great day yesterday we had. I can't tell you how wonderful these horses demonstrated. Let me let me say this. We are webcasting the sale live, so it is going out live. Our demonstration yesterday went out live, so all of you that join us on the webcast want to welcome you to this return to the moon sale. Uh, we'll have a really, really, really fun day, so uh, that'll be happening. Want to kind of call that to your attention. And it's been really uneventful over the, uh, the fact that we, we lost a lot of rooming up at Childress. Were you staying at Childress? Any of you staying at Childress? Any of you staying at Childress? Had a water main break. All the people lost their rooms. Now, if you might be sitting close to any of those people raising their hand, they hadn't had running water for three days. So, <laughs> leave it at that. That's kind of the way that's gone down. But, uh, Hey, before we introduce these great branches, our hosts and our other guest branches and some other people we have here today, Dr. Ben Logic wants to say a word or two. And uh, man, a few words, but great abilities. So he'll uh, welcome you here to the Four Sixes Ranch and then to this beautiful new arena. And uh, Doc, it's always a pleasure to be here with you. So it's up to you. Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, well, I haven't, haven't said much in the past. here for the four sixes we're especially appreciative of uh, Ms. Marion and what she's approved us to do here and uh, I, hope, I hope, hope everyone enjoys this facility it seems to really fit what we needed you know we've been having sales since the return of the road since 1996 and we we were able to capitalize on knowing the needs Put on this great event and uh, put it all in one facility. And yesterday, the demonstration, I think those of you that were here realized how, how fantastic this thing uh, mushroomed into uh, in a way of a facility. And we look forward to having any more. But anyway, that's, I want to thank everyone again for attending uh, the Barnett family. Welcome to everyone here, and I know the other ranches involved, our neighbors and the two guest ranches this year, the Wagon County and King Ranch, all welcome you as well. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Clifford Lundell, that's the President of the American Horse Association, a very familiar face in all the circles in the uh, performance of the racehorse industry. It's unbelievable what uh, the uh, Four Sixes has done. If you haven't been through the stadium barn, seen the great horses here, some of the greatest performance horse stadiums in the world, and no doubt some of the greatest running horse stadiums in the world as well. You look through these great, great stadiums and uh, take a look at them, make your breeding plans for next year. There's plenty of information in the sale office on all of those good horses, and they'll treat you right right here. They should see them all over the world, or you 
bring your mares here, and there's no better place in the world to take your mares to have them bred. Before we get into anything else, I want to introduce to you some of the members of some of the great ranch families. I hope I have all of these just right. Uh, before, and the first one, we'll of course start with our host ranch, the Four Sixes. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Burnett Companies and his wife, Niels and Elaine Agatha. It's always great to be with you folks, and thank you for having us. Tell us a very good hello. Send her our very best. Always. The general manager I introduced earlier opened up with the invocation, Mr. Joe Leathers and his wife, Louise. And of course, the uh, manager, yes sir, of the horse division, Dr. Glenn Blodgett, you just met, and here's my parent Blodgett, down on the first row, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to see your smiling face this morning, girl. The Banks family, Mr. George Banks IV, he'll be kind of, he's kind of like the fog. You see him, but you can't quite touch him. But he's around here somewhere. He brings you these great Banks buildings every year. It's good to have all the Banks family. And Farmer Banks is with us once again. Good to have you. And of course, Janie Banks, once again, back on track. Judy Banks Clement and her husband, Mr. Jamie Clement from the King Ranch, ladies and gentlemen, the chair of the board of the King Ranch. And the top and bottom side of the pedigree of the finest young man in the horse business, Mr. James Clement, that I'll introduce here in a moment from the King Ranch. Boy, he is an inspiration to all of us. I'll tell you, thank you all for sharing that man with us. We've just come to love him. All right, from the Pitts Fork Landing Cattle Company. Oh, we got a great family group with us here today. Hey, the boss lady came this year, Ms. Mary Randolph Bowser. Always great to have you. Been a while since you've been here. Glad to have you back. Oh, they want to go to the third. Ladies and gentlemen, his wife, Beatrice, they always are here with us. It's good to have you back, no doubt about it. Their son, Peter, is with us this year. Peter, good to see you again. Been a while since you've been here. And let's see. Of course, uh, Jerry Bob Daniel. He had it went off. Here it is. Jerry Bob Daniel. Whoop. One, two. Chester. All right. That might happen from time to time. Let's see. But I look technical difficulty. Did I leave anybody out of the pitch for Who? Oh, you think I did? Don't believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, Miss Eugenie Daniel, right over here in the dog plate. Went out again there. Got a little short going on there. Hey, and of course, it's their son, Jerry Bob, and Eugenie's son. Of course, everybody knows Colton, his wife, Allie. They've added a new addition. Got another bull calf in the pen here this year. Augie was with us last year, and this year we got Augie and Chisholm both, so it's good to have them. And of course, Mr. Brooks Hodges and his wife, Amanda. Hello. Haven't seen you all weekend. Good to see you. That's Mike. Okay. All right. I hope we didn't leave anyone out of that group. Anyone else I missed? That reports? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pitchfork and a circle bar. That took care of that. Tom River Ranch. Mr. T.J. Roberts and his wife, Kristen, ladies and gentlemen. T.J. showed you some of the great horses yesterday. Hey, and their family, Brazos, Blaine, and Bailey. Which one of the yellow was demonstrating those good horses yesterday? Brazos? You did a good job. Both of them. All right. Good to have you all. I think that's the Pitchfork family. From the Wagonhound Ranch, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Mr. Art Nicholas and Cabrera Nicholas. Uh, they have sent the crew down and some great horses. Mr. Dustin Ewing, where is Dustin? Dustin Ewing, from, there he is, right back here with the Wagon Hound Landing Cattle from Douglas Wyoming and his crew, Mr. Matt Kelly. Matt demonstrated some great horses for us yesterday. Preston Schwartzkopf and Alex Govina as well. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, that takes us to the historic King Ranch. Now, it is an absolute pleasure to have the King Ranch participate here with us in the return to the Ramuda. I introduced James last year to you uh, in connection with the horse of the Boon. The great reference hour by Pep the Boon's Law that stands here at the four sixes. And so I told you to expect great things from this program and this young man. And uh, James, come up here where everybody can see you. If you haven't met this man, you need to meet him. Where is James? His wife, Paige. He hadn't, he hadn't uh, turned George Beggs on me, has he? <laughs> where I can't find him. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man is, uh, he is now, of course, the, the manager of the horse program down at the King Ranch. His wife, Paige, is here with us. He's gotten married since he was here last year. 
but a fine young man that's redeveloping that great historic program that, as you all well know, if, if there's anything about the King Ranch you'd like to know in a summary, the Western Horseman, if you didn't see it, did one of the greatest series of stories on the King Ranch here a few weeks ago I, with Mr. Billy Morris, owner of the Western Horseman. I complimented him on it the week it came out. It's, it's the best article I believe I've ever seen written in the articles for about six. And if you want to update yourself quickly on the history of the King Ranch, that's a really good go-to right there. Let me tell you, this young man is doing his darn as he is working overtime to reestablish this great program, made so prominent back in the early days, the founding days of the AQHA, of course, by Mr. Bob Clayburg, and then later, uh, through the efforts, of course, of G.O. Clayburg, Joe Stiles, and Buster Welsh, when the King Ranch became the number one uh, producer of all time of performance war horses. And so James is on track to do just that. Need him, he's got the greatest energy in the world, a Marine. He, uh, he, he makes you feel good about being American. He represents everything that's good in America, I think, these days. I can't say enough good about him. His mom and dad, once again, I mentioned earlier, Judy Banks Clement and Mr. Jamie Clement, the chairman of the board. Mr. Charlie Armstrong, I've heard, is with us as well from Florida. Represent the Florida Division of the Ranch. Mr. Armstrong, it's good to have you. And his daughter's been here with us all week, Henrietta Armstrong. I'll introduce her, maybe she'll bring a horse in in a little while. But uh, boy, it's good to have them one more time. I can't tell you all the great things. Leroy Montevallo, Mont I messed that up, didn't I? Montavo, and met this man you need to. He represents the Deneen Ghost down there at the King Ranch. Six generations of them on the top side of his pedigree and eight on the bottom side. So, great, great people. John Alexander's with us. Carrie and Dave Delaney, Punky and Bob McKinnon, Rum of Carrington, and of course Billy Murphy. All of them here with us today from the King Ranch. And once again, I can't tell you people what a pleasure it is. Give them all a hand. All of these great people. All right, we have a little short problem here. We'll get it fixed here in a minute. But anyway, it's great to be with all of them. And we'll move along, and I will introduce a few more people. It's good really to have them here with us today. Let me tell you one more thing. Uh, again, we'll kick things off here now with the benefit auction. And uh, that, of course, benefits the American Quarter Horse Foundation. And all about the foundation and everything good about the foundation is highlighted on page 42 of your program. Ms. Anna Morrison's here with us today from AQHA, right back here. She's the Foundation Executive Director and also Director of International Programs as well. Anna doing a great job with both of those big, big positions. And uh, other folks from the AQHA, uh, introduce here in a moment, but uh, well, Mr. Jim Jennings is always with us, and his wife, Mavis. Good to have them. Mr. Craig Hubbines, who I'll introduce in a minute. Our President of the American Board of Association, Dr. Jim Hurd, here he is right back here. And uh, of course, also the, uh, the director of the Equine Initiative at Texas A&M University. Dr. Hurd was sharing uh, comments with me yesterday on the uh, block back there when we introduced all these great horses. And also Stan Weaver, the first vice president of the American Board Horse Association. Stan's here. Where do you stand? He's here from Montana. Good to have you here once again. You'll be your incoming president next year of the American Board Horse Association. Which one of you two AQHA want to go first? All right, here comes the president of the American Board Horse Association, ladies and gentlemen, our great friend, Dr. Jim Hurd. Thank you, Jim. Good morning. Do you think of any place you'd rather be than here today in this great arena with rain and, and ranch country? Well, that's how AQHA feels because we're committed to our ranching programs. If you look at the history of the ranches here, they're a heritage in the history of the American Border Horse Association. In fact, several of these ranches were the founders of the association. And I'm here to tell you that on behalf of our executive committee, we're committed to keeping the heritage and the history of our association going. And we're going to maintain our connection to the ranching country and to you, the ranching people. And so on behalf of the rest of the executive committee, our 250,000 members, Welcome. We hope all of you enjoy yourself. We hope everybody buys a horse. If you don't buy one today, buy one the next day. Because there's plenty of them here. But we're excited to have you here, and we're excited to be a part of this thing. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Dr. Hurd. 
ladies and gentlemen, here's the executive, here's the executive secretary of the American Water Horse Association. I introduced him yesterday as a man, the only man in America I know so good as his job that he passed on the very first vote. We had to vote on him. He's the only one. All good reputation, plain work for the American Horse Association, so you know he's the real deal. Here's Mr. Craig up on Thank you, Jim, and welcome everyone. And you are at the Ranching Heritage Event of the Year. And I want to thank you all for being here. If you were here yesterday and you watched the demonstration, last night we were talking about it amongst many horsemen, you saw some of the finest horsemanship and some of the finest horse breeding genetics in the world. They were soft, they were calm. These two year olds were cattle like I've not seen two year olds work out. And so you're here at a very special time. And if you have a passion for this quarter horse, if you have a passion for our ranching heritage, whether you live it or you don't, you're in the right place. And in case you raise your hand today and you wind up taking one of these home, congratulations to you, but in case you don't, you also can be involved in our ranching heritage industry. And I'm going to share with you how you can be involved. You can be involved by joining the American Court Horse Association. You can be involved by supporting our great American Court Horse Foundation. This event has raised just under $220,000 since the beginning. All those proceeds have gone toward equine research. Whether it's working on the vicular laminitis, colic, genetic abnormalities, you will go through this book and you will see genetic tests at the bottom of each pedigree that says these animals are free from genetic problems. All of that effort and work is going to research. So we want you to get behind it. We want you to get behind this, these auction items that we're about to sell. Our next push will be against infectious disease. As families, we care about that with our kids. We also care about that with our horses. We're going to put a push on infectious disease and parasite control so we can take good care of it. So we want to thank you for supporting us. Become a member of AQHA and put your dollars to good use in supporting the foundation and equine research. Thank you so much. All right, Greg, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Greg Huffines. I think they're about ready to roll. Once again, hey, thank hey, Neutrina's back here. My old friend, Dr. Jim Ward, right back here in the back with Neutrina. They provided your meal last evening. Grizzlies is here for lunch. Once again, get yourself a meal ticket that's going to benefit the AQHA Foundation. Such a great, great industry this is. One of the greatest award, uh, honors to be bestowed on these great ranches. And of course, the uh, Ramuda Award. We want to congratulate our guests here today, the Wagon Hound Landed Livestock. They'll be the 2018 recipient of the AQHA Best Ramuda Award. Wagon Hound Landed Livestock, this year's Best Ramuda Award recipient. And of course, past recipients of our host ranches, the Four Sixes, the Pittsburgh Landed Cattle, the Tuck River Ranch, and also Mr. Craig Haythorn of the Haythorn Landed Cattle with us here today. I don't know, I know Mr. John Morehouse, Morehouse Ranch, a past Ramuda Award winner, been with us. I think some of the Madden Gore crew maybe I was told were here. Dr. Woody Bartlett, right over here from right, Mike Cold, Alabama, and Chuck Water, Wyoming. He, of course, one of the colorful characters in the industry and a great, great friend and a past AQHA Best Ramuda Award winner. Uh, winner. Doesn't travel with the best company in the world, but he's sure a good man, I'll tell you that. Hey, we're going to get right on down and sign these uh, items to benefit the AQHA Foundation, ladies and gentlemen. First thing right off the bat, if you ladies can bring something on in, we'll be ready. First thing we're going to do, though, introduce our ring people and our other auctioneers and talkers and markers and whatever else. Here's Colonel Steve Briscoe, your senior auctioneer from Millshoe, Texas. He'll introduce the rest of the crew here, and I'll be swapping off Colonel Wade Dunningham over here today. And uh, glad to have all our great crew with us. We couldn't do it without them. So here's Colonel Steve introduce them. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. How are we doing now? There you go. All right, thank you, Jim. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We want to introduce the event spotters for the day. Hey, one thing about it, we've got a really nice big crowd. Uh, once again, how many of y'all are glad we got this nice big building today as opposed to all of us huddling up under the tent 
all that day. I was telling somebody today, they was looking, they said, there's a little glare in them windows. And I said, I don't know about y'all, I'm darn glad we got them windows. Now, nice little old north breeze over there. So anyhow, y'all bid right up today. We've got some good guys that will be taking your bid today. But down in the front, we've got Don Fraley, Bob Frankie. We've got uh, Jody Dozier, Justin Morris. And, and the Rusty Jameson will be here with you today. So uh, you bid right to those guys. They'll turn it into the block. It'll be myself and, and Justin Holmberg. We'll be trading off doing the auctioneering duties. We're going to have a real good snappy sale today. Now once we get this thing started, we're going to clippity-clop. So you just stick your little bit right there, and we'll let you have the ones that you get. And the ones you don't get, we'll try again on another. If there's a tie bid between anybody at the fall hammer, we're going to open it up just between you two. But now we're ready to have a horse All race. All right, Matt Humphreys, ladies and gentlemen, Duma, or Dickens, Texas. The Humphreys family has been so long involved with these great wrenches, and Matt's an absolute uh, master.